Hello, hello, good people. Welcome to Caroling Derish. Before I continue, allow me to say thank you to all my subscribers for your continued support. And for those who have been watching my videos and haven't gotten a chance to subscribe, kindly, kindly subscribe to my channel, like and share. Thanks, thank you in advance. Today, let's talk about how to maintain normal cholesterol by improving the low density lipoprotein to high density lipoprotein ratio in our bodies. But before we continue, for those who are not familiar with cholesterol, here is a brief introduction. Cholesterol is a type of lipid. Most cholesterol is synthesized in the liver. Cholesterol is also found in fatty animal products such as whole milk, fatty meat, egg yolk, butter, just to mention but a few. The lipids made in the liver and the residues from the diet that we eat are transported to other parts of the body by lipoprotein. They start as very low density lipoprotein and as they travel through, uh, through the body, the cells remove triglycerides and uh, uh, cholesterol that they may need and uh, this uh, this causes the very low density lipoprotein to shrink and it becomes low density lipoprotein the low density lipoprotein is also known as the bad cholesterol the bad cholesterol or low density lipoprotein continues traveling through the body as the cell takes the different repeats that they did. At some point, the low density lipoprotein starts to degrade, releasing uh, their cholesterol in the bloodstream, causing cholesterol levels to increase. To avoid this, the liver cells remove the low density lipoprotein from circulation takes them back to the river and recycles or disposes them then we have high density lipoprotein it is also referred to as the good cholesterol it is small and dense uh, they have low cholesterol and high protein content the liver releases high this high density lipoprotein to the blood to pick up cholesterol from dying cells and also the cells uh, also the cholesterol that may have been released by uh, low density lipoprotein when it, it degraded so this uh, this cholesterol is taken back to the liver again for recycle or, or to be disposed. Factors that improve the low density lipoprotein, the bad cholesterol to high density lipoprotein, the good cholesterol ratio in our body include using monounsaturated fat which help to improve the blood lipid by lowering levels of low density lipo, uh, lipoprotein cholesterol. Examples of monounsaturated fats include olive oil, canola oil, avocados, nuts, like almond, cashew, pecan. Another way is using polyunsaturated fat, which also uses the same concept. Uh, 
uh, by helping to improve the blood lipids, there follow early levels of low density lipoprotein cholesterol. Examples of poorly and as poorly unsaturated fats include corn oil, sunflower seeds, walnuts, fish such as salmon, tuna, trout, just to mention but a few. Another suggestion is including foods that are good sources of soluble fibers in your diet. Soluble fiber dissolves in water and gastrointestinal fluids. In the large intestine, uh, they are digested by bacterial enzymes. And then the fiber binds to bile, which is made of cholesterol, resulting in cholesterol being eliminated as waste and therefore there is less cholesterol in the body. Examples of soluble fiber include citrus fruits like uh, oranges, lemon, uh, lime, uh, berries, oat products, beans, lima beans, apples, carrots, curry flour, and broccoli, just to mention but a few. Another thing that uh, one can do is practice moderate alcohol consumption. Most of the cholesterol is synthesized in the liver. And what happens when you, you have a high alcohol consumption, you, it damages the liver, which affects the cholesterol synthesis and when the cholesterol synthesis is affected, it can affect the cells because the cells also need uh, the cholesterol to, for, uh, for particular functions in the body. Then something else that is recommended is, is, recommended is regular physical activity or exercise. At least 30 minutes a day, three times a week, can help lower blood lipids. If, if done regularly, it's gonna help. Activities include walking, learning, swimming, biking, just to mention but a few. Now, all this, I hope this video and the information in it is going to make a difference in at least one person. And hopefully it makes a change. Thank you for watching my video. Please share, like, subscribe, and keep coming for more. Thank you for your support.